Welcome back, boys and girls. I just decided to continue this. Uh, see, let's talk to Kenny. Last time, Larry died of a heart attack, and we had to smash his head in from him coming back. And we found out we've been staying with cannibals, and it looks like we've been locked in a meat locker. Let's see what has Kenny has to say. You think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now: getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. Yep. What now? You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There might be a duck behind it. Oh, God. What do they do with the Katya and Duck? They better not touch Katya and Duck. Katya and Duck. What about them? You don't think they're St. John's? No. They, they need Katya, remember? Well, she's the whole reason they brought us here. Sure. Duck is valuable as a bargaining chip. We gotta get to it. That's right. I know it was necessary. But I just wish Cliff didn't have to witness shit like this. I wonder what it's gonna do to her. Probably gonna mess her up in the head. Lovely, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, baby. Don't fucking talk to me. Larry would have wanted. Fuck you! You think he wanted this? Of course not. You don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He wants you to get out of here. Get away. I just need you. I told you to get the fuck away! Sure. Okay, looks like Lily has got some high tension in her in her brain. Ooh, there's a air conditioning. Let's see what's up here. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off. If I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, uh, rock won't help. Come on, man. Do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh -uh. Yeah, like a little eight-year-old girl's gonna just be carrying around a coin. Let's back out of that for a minute. Let's go talk to Lily. Try to, at least. Why can't you just leave me alone? She's gonna try to talk to you. Sorry. We're gonna get out of here. We need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for him. Back at the motor area. Larry. Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words. My father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. All I need to do is get the change out of his pocket. He said something about having 60 cents in his pocket. Oh boy. Uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? Sure. I don't think that's a pocket. Not me. My mother's. Don't worry. I'm not taking it. Hmm, wrong pocket. Ha! Huh. This kind of reminds me of the uh, story we read in uh, my teacher Mrs. Hamerley's class, Contents of the Dead Man's Pockets. It has nothing to do with it has nothing to do with Larry's dead body and searching through his pockets, but it just reminded me because he's a dead man and we're searching the contents of his pockets. Alright, one 
Screw. You got it? Damn. Yeah. One more should do it. Alright. One more screw should do it. Oops. We use the coins. Got it. He's not Stay dead. Here. He's not dead. Careful, you had your Come chance around. to say goodbye before we smashed his freaking head in, but you could have said goodbye. I guess you just said he's not dead. Somebody help me. We... You could have said bye, but oh well. I said bye, Felicia. centipede but a lot less worse I mean there were no cannibals in the human centipede so Seems like looks like Danny, maybe or Andy. Could be one of the two. Looks like we're getting out of here. Okay, that's not what I meant. No, okay, we've already looked outside. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind him in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's do this thing. Close. All right, there's this gun sitting right next to him. He is distracted all the way. Oh crap! Just go in place like you said. Oh god. 
Okay, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, grab the gun, grab the gun. Nice. Used the multi-tool on him. Oh, I bet that hurt, didn't it? Nice. Ooh, you got a hook too. Oh, and his leg got caught on a bear trap. Awesome. How's it feel, Andy? Or Danny? You betcha, Kenny. Go. Save your wife and son. Hmm. Looks like we got a pitchfork, maybe? Yep. Gay? Chemicals have been not the answer! Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive! You can kill me! I mean, it's tainted! You can't eat it! You're already tainted! You ain't gonna... You think I won't kill you? I didn't know she was back there. I didn't think Clementine watched. Seems like every time I do something like that, she watches. Oh, you. Oh, you're all gonna die. First, I killed Danny. Andy and Brenna, you two are next in line to die. I'm not keeping any of you alive at all. This is getting intense. Outside, it's raining. Kenny is out of sight. It's raining really hard. Lightning in the distance. The evil house in the distance. I guess you could call it House of the Dead. AKA the name of another game. Oops, sounds like somebody's in the cornfield. Looks like it's a walker. Oh, killing it. Somebody killed it. Oh, it's Carly. Carly. I guess we're gone for a long time. Sneaking up to the house. We'll stop it right there and see what happens in the next episode. Goodbye, Walking Dead fans.